So welcome to part two of our quiz quiz app. And we're building a quiz on the US presidents. And so far we've kind of set up our variable, our data. You know, and this is this is kind of you know internal, right? This this is not what shows up in the UI unless we explicitly put it there. And we've got all our questions. And the first thing we did is we just made sure when the app starts, screen.initialize gets triggered, we we go and grab the first question, whatever it is. You know, so you could change these questions and your, your app would still work. And we, we stick it in the label so the user can see it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the next button. And at least to start, what we want is when they click next, go get the second thing. And when they click next again, go get the third question. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and grab a next button dot click. Okay. And we know that our goal is to change what's in the label. So, so we're going to actually do something pretty similar to, to this guy, right? Um, so we want to change what's in our question label. You know, when the app starts, we grab the first one. We could do something kind of dumb. If there was only two questions, we could just say, okay, grab the second thing, right? Um, this is not what we want to do, but notice when the app starts, the first question appears. If I do click Next, it will show me the um, second question. Okay, the problem is, of course, it's not going to work for the next and next. Okay, so the problem is really, we don't, when the next button's clicked, we don't want to show two or the second item. We want to show the next item. And that's a little harder. Okay, and we have to kind of abstract and not use concrete numbers. What we need is a variable. Okay, and really what we need to keep track of is where we're at in our question list because there's always kind of a current question we're on and we need to know that number so I'm going to find a variable it's a special kind of variable called an index or I'm naming it index and I'm going to start it off as one because that's that's where the quiz will start on question one but think of index as you know the order the the item number of our quiz okay and what we're going to do is when the user clicks next, we're going to change him by one. We're going to increment him by one. And then we're going to stick him as our item. Okay. Let me, let me code it and then we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more. So one thing we're going to do is change the index. And it's a little weird. What we want it to be is, um, I'm going to go to math here and grab a plus. What we want index to be is itself so its current value plus one more okay and you may have seen this if you've done the mole mash and kept score and that sort of thing in a game but you'll see this a lot in programming you've got some variable okay it starts out as something but often you want to change the variable to be what it is okay the first time it'll be one plus one is two and you'll stick that back in the variable so that memory cell will change from one to two, or two to three, three to four. Okay. Once we change index, you know, remember we this was too concrete. We don't always want to choose the second one. What we really want to do is choose the indexed item, indexed item, which is you know a strange, strange thought, but it's a very important you know concept in computer science that you're going to grab the nth or the indexed item. So I'm going to go over and grab a reference to index. And in fact, what we're going to do is grab the next thing. This code right here grabs us the next item. Okay, I'm going to restart the emulator. Or not rerun the emulator, but restart our app in the emulator. Okay, when the app starts, we should go grab the first question. Okay, when the user clicks next, we should change our variable that started out as one to two, and then we should go grab the second question and stick it in the label. Okay. The next time we click next, our index should become three, and we should show the third question. Okay. Let's just first test this out. So let me come over to the emulator. I've got my first question here, so that's still working. I click next. There's the second question. Click next again. There's the third question. Okay, what's going to happen when I click next again? Well, the problem is there's no fourth item, 
so we're going to get an error. So I click next, and there's this error. It's pretty instructive, actually. It says we're attempting to get item number four, but our list only has three things. Okay, and you can it actually shows the the things. So this is called a runtime bug. You never want your app to to have a bug like this because certainly you don't want your users to see this. So we're going to have to do some do some more logic to make our our app work correctly.